Hey, how's it going, guys? It is your boy, Matt Max, today, bringing you another video back up on the channel here today. What we're going to be talking about in today's video is about the five things Infinite Warfare has potentially stolen or been, you know, inspired by features from Black Ops 3. Some of these, you know, they're very, very obvious, and some of them have gone a bit under the radar, and some of them you'll be surprised, you know, the connection from Black Ops 3 to Infinite Warfare, you didn't actually see it at first. It's pretty interesting, okay? So before we do hop into today's video, guys, this is the last day to enter the COD Point giveaway. I will be announcing the winners tomorrow. There's going to be three people. So if you want to enter that, make sure you're smashing that like button down below. If we can go for something like 500 likes on today's video, that would be awesome. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And once you smash that like button, comment in the comment section down below saying you've entered. And uh, that means, you know, I'm able to go through the comment section and pick the three winners. And uh, apart from that, let's talk about these five features that Infinite Warfare have potentially stolen or been inspired by from Black Ops 3. Now, the first one I'm going to be talking about is going to be very, very obvious. Obviously, we're going to be talking about the movement system and that being the chain-based movement system, obviously inspired from Black Ops 3. Now, it's already been said already and confirmed by Infinity Ward, obviously the people that are making Infinite Warfare, that saying that the concept behind the chain-based movement system is pretty much a car copy of Black Ops 3's and then it is you know heavily inspired by it. Now Black Ops 3 initially obviously took this idea and inspiration from Advanced Warfare. I know they've been in production of the game before Advanced Warfare had released their game but uh, the mechanics are all the same. Now from Advanced Warfare the chain based movement system in that game was very irregular. You know it wasn't as smooth in a way compared to Infinite Warfare. Black Ops 3 is kind of in the middle between Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare and then Infinite Warfare they've actually toned down the chain based movement system which I actually like I prefer it's more closer to boots on the ground you know you don't have to use that mechanic of jumping around tons just to get a kill within infinite warfare a lot of the play is boots on the ground compared to advanced warfare you know a lot of the gunfights were won in the air and then black ops 3 is kind of in the middle and uh, i think what infinite warfare have done and infinity ward with the chain based movement system within infinite warfare it's very, very good. It works very, very well. It's very smooth. And uh, I think it's a huge improvement on the movement system compared to Black Ops 3, in my opinion. Now, the second thing inspired from Black Ops 3 that Infinite Warfare has taken on board is the Pick 10 Creator Class system. I know we've seen this in plenty of Call of Duties in the past, but this year, when you look at it side by side, as you can see up on screen here, they are very, very similar indeed. The Pick 10 is kind of like the classic way to play. You know, games like Advanced Warfare, for instance, you are able to pick your score streaks as part of the class setup, which kind of took a point away. So it all depended on how many attachments you want to how many kill streaks you want and perks. It was a lot different. Obviously, Infinite Warfare have been inspired by Black Ops 3. So I've got to admit, the pick 10 credit class is probably the best way of going. And uh, this is kind of like a carbon copy takeover from Black Ops 3 that they've implemented within Infinite Warfare. It's another awesome feature that I think is going to work well within the game. Now, the third thing Infinite Warfare have kind of pinched from Treyarch with producing Black Ops 3. This one's probably gone under the radar a little, and we're going to be talking about the winner's circle at the end. If you guys didn't know, I've seen Black Ops 3 when you completed the game. If you come within the top three, you know, you get to do your taunts and whatever at the end. There's three of you on screen, first place at the front, second and third just behind you. You get to do some taunts, you know, kind of rub it in the enemy's faces that you just destroyed them pretty much. Infinite Warfare have taken that on board and done their own version within Infinite Warfare and uh, also brought in the kind of like taunts aspect as well that we saw in Black Ops 3. That was the first game we saw taunts, I think, you know, and gestures and stuff like that. And they brought that over into Infinite Warfare. In the winner's circle at the end, you can do some taunts and gestures. And I believe you can also do them during the game as well. And I don't know what the point in that is. But uh, yeah, another feature Infinite Warfare have taken from Black Ops 3. And it's a pretty cool one. Full feature, this one, you know, it's had a huge impact on the community. That is the black market. With the success they saw in Advanced Warfare, for instance, you know, the amount of money they made on supply drops. They took that forward into Black Ops 3, obviously on Activision's part. You know, they want to implement supply drops because it's a big money maker for them. They've obviously said to all the producers of the Call of Duty titles, hey, you're going to have to implement this into the game because it's a big money maker. I think last year on Black Ops 3, they made like twice as much money just on in-game sales of supply drops and stuff like that than they did on the sales of the games. So uh, obviously, that has been shifted forward into Infinite Warfare. It's been confirmed there's going to be COD points now, if you guys didn't know that already. So uh, yeah, the black market, very, very similar. Obviously, you've got like the black market dealer. This time, it's a little robot guy. Last year, it was obviously, it ended up being the 10th specialist, Blackjack. But uh, yeah, another feature taken from 
Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare, they've nabbed it, put it into Infinite Warfare, a big money maker. You know, the black market, you know, is a huge thing, especially getting variants of guns. I know this year it's a lot better. You can use salvage, you know, unlock guns. But if you didn't want to do it that way, you can open a ton of supply drops and potentially get it like that as well. Now, the fifth and final point I wanted to talk about, this is a huge thing, is specialists. Obviously, Black Ops 3 was the first year we saw specialists. It's kind of been taken from Destiny in a way. I know they have specialists in that game. That was pinched, put into Black Ops 3. It paid a huge part in the game. Not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of the specialist. I kind of feel like it, it mixes up the consistency of the game too much in a way. You know, your whole team could be holding down a hard point, holding it down. Someone just can jump in with heat wave and take all of you out, you know. It, for competitive reasons as well, you know, when you're playing competitive play, it influences the game an absolute ton. So uh, obviously they've transferred that into Infinite Warfare, such as rigs. From what we saw in the beta, they're pretty overpowered. They last quite a long time. They take quite a long time to work up to. But uh, once you've got them, they're pretty dominant. Obviously, they've taken this from Black Ops 3. I don't know if I'm a fan of them or not. You know, just going to have to see how it plays out. But guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. The, that is the five features stolen or kind of inspired by from Black Ops 3 uh, put into Infinite Warfare. Guys, like I said, if you could smash a like on today's video, that would be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, make sure to comment in the comment section down below to enter that COD Point giveaway. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy, Matt Max. Peace out.